Vankhede was hailed for Aryan Hunt. But his mission blackmail now exposed. Mega thriller from celeb crime world. Unbelievable twist to Aryan drug saga. Only channel with guts to cover this. The entire Aryan Khan saga unravels. Top focus on 6 p.m. Prime. From extortion to drugs to India's biggest superstar being thrown right in the heart of the scandal. This is the biggest story and a live crime thriller that's playing out on your screens. Hello and welcome. You're watching India Today. I'm Akshita Nandagopal. We're getting you all the details of this big story that we're tracking here as we get you exclusive WhatsApp chats between former NCB officer Samir Vankare and superstar Shah Rukh Khan. What was discussed? What was brought up? We'll tell you all about that and the CBI FIR in just a bit. The headlines first. Shocking twist to Aryan drug saga. Exclusive SRK Vankiri chats accessed by India today. SRK pleaded for his son on chat and refused to bend to the blackmail team. Sidra Maya and DK Shivkumar reach Delhi for key meet on Karnataka cabinet formation. Mega swearing in ceremony tomorrow. Mr. Modi on his milestone visit to Hiroshima in Japan for the G7 summit. The Prime Minister will meet Zelensky, a first since the Russia-Ukraine war. Bilaterals with Japan, South Korea and Canada also slated huge welcome there for the Prime Minister in Hiroshima. Supreme Court appointed panel report on Adani out. Report says no artificial trading of stocks. There was no pattern of artificial trading or wash trading. Supreme Court defers Allahabad High Court order allowing scientific survey of the alleged shivling at Gyanwapi Mosque. Top court says we need to tread carefully in the matter. And Ashwarya Rai Bachchan's can appearance in silver hooded gown trends online and sparks a mega meme fest. From starting off in 2021 as SRK's son Aryan Khan being busted in a drugs case to today turning into an extortion saga involving superstar Shah Rukh Khan, this case has taken several twists and turns and in the latest, India Today has accessed WhatsApp chats allegedly between Samir Vankade and Shah Rukh Khan. What was this about? Well, these are chats that were put out by Samir Vankade in his defence. Even as this tainted NCB officer faces charges from the CBI of seeking extortion money from Shah Rukh Khan to the tune of 25 crores for him personally to pocket 8 crores, he's released these WhatsApp chats to claim Shah Rukh Khan never had a grouse against me that Shah Rukh Khan had in fact praised me as being an upright officer. And we're putting out on our screens right now some of those excerpts of those WhatsApp chats. We have screenshots of these and we're putting out some of the highlights. Shah Rukh Khan, not a superstar here, not Badshah of Bollywood, but a desperate father reaching out to Samir Vankade for help, reaching out to Samir Vankade for some relief for Aryan Khan. And you can see that in these WhatsApp chats as Shah Rukh Khan pleads with Samir Vankare saying, let my son go, he's not a hardened criminal, this will break him. And there are several other such comments. He says, can I call you in the middle of the night? I'm not getting any sleep because I'm a worried father. He also says, I beg of you, I will do anything you need. To all of these chats, you have responses from Samir Vankare, one-line answers saying, I'll let you know, we will do what we can. But this is an appeal from Shah Rukh Khan. He literally begs for his son Aryan Khan and Shah Rukh, the father, desperate for some relief for Aryan. Samir Vankere is using these chats now to say, look, Shah Rukh Khan had reached out to me. There's no question of extortion. He wanted me to help him. He was praising me as being an upright 
uh, as an upright person, as an upright official. शाहरुख खान के साथ जो समीर वानगढ़ के व्हाट्सएप चेक्स हुए हैं उसको साइट किया है वो आप एविडेंस देखते हैं देखिए सुनिए शाहरुख खान का जो भी कॉन्वर्जेशन था इसलिए साइट किया क्योंकि मैं ये बताना चाहता था कि शाहरुख को और आर्यन को भी खुद समीर के खिलाफ किसी किस्म की शिकायत नहीं थी ना तो किसी किस्म की डिमांड थी ऑन द कॉन्ट्री शाहरुख ने तो अपने कॉन्वर्जेशन में कहा है कि तुम्हारे जैसा अपराइट ऑफिसर तुम्हारे जैसा ऑनेस्ट ऑफिसर मैं एक बाप की हैसियत से एक बाप को एक रिक्वेस्ट कर रहा हूँ कि मेरे बच्चे का ध्यान रखो और उसमें कुछ गलत नहीं है अगर किसी का बच्चा अंदर कई तकलीफ में है तो बाप को तो तकलीफ होगी और अगर एक बाप किसी ऑफिसर से अगर रिक्वेस्ट करता है मेरे बच्चे का ध्यान रखो तो कुछ गलत नहीं करता मेरे हिसाब से ही डिड नथिंग रॉन्ग ऑन द कॉन्ट्ररी शाहरुख वेरी ओपनली रिक्वेस्टेड समीर समीर वांगखेड़े के सर हमको बच्चे को सुधारना चाहिए और समीर बोला बिल्कुल बिल्कुल नहीं है बिल्कुल नहीं है नो ऑन द कॉन्ट्री आर्यन ने हाई कोर्ट के अंदर बेल के सामने इस लॉर्डशिप जस्टिस सामरे के सामने एफिडेविट या रिटर्न सबमिशन फाइल की है कि भाई देर इज नो एलिगेशन ऑफ एनी नेचर अगेंस्ट दी ऑफिसर्स और सारे के सारे जो पॉलिटिकल एलिगेशन हो रहे उनके साथ में मेरा कोई लेना देना नहीं है शाहरुख के चैट के अंदर भी है कि मैं कोशिश करके इन लोगों को चुप करवा रहा हूं आर्यन खान को क्लीन चीट नहीं दी जानी थी जो डेप्यूटी दे, लीगल एक्ट ये सुन लो मेरी बात मेरे, मेरे गलत आ, मतलब बंद निकालो मैं ये नहीं बोलता हूँ कि आर्यन खान को क्लीन चीट नहीं देनी चाहिए थी If he deserves a clean sheet, he should deserve a clean sheet. He should be given a clean sheet. He should have been given a clean sheet. But it has to be in accordance with the process followed by law. Section 27 का अगर उसके ऊपर allegation था consumption का, तो section 27 की complaint file होने के बाद में आप 62A की application कर सकते हो, rehab में जाके अपना treatment करवा के immunity ले लो. जो आज सत्तावी जो आज वो डिस्चार्ज की जो फ्रीडम एंजॉय कर रहा है वो तब एंजॉय करता लेकिन लेकिन ड्यू प्रोसेस ऑफ लॉ फॉलो करना चाहिए था मुझे शाहरुख के और आर्यन से शिकायत नहीं है ना तो उनकी लीगल टीम से शिकायत है शिकायत है उन लोगों से दिल्ली में बैठे हुए जिन लोगों ने डिस्ट्रॉय की नोटिंग डीएलए की और सब कुछ And in the Bombay High Court, where Samir Vankare had submitted these WhatsApp chats in his petition to claim innocence, he's been granted some relief. As the Bombay High Court has said, for now, no coercive action can be taken against Vankare. Speaking, in fact, to the media soon after, as expected, the tainted NCB officer here has claimed that all of this is nothing but vendetta politics at play. Remember that Vankare is right now blaming his bosses, his higher-ups, saying it was their plan to keep Aryan Khan in NCB custody. They had asked him to ensure he remains in NCB custody and he claims he's now a victim that he's being scapegoated. Let's play out for you what Samir Vankare has to say. I have a full trust on the Kendriya government and the CBI government that they will give me a new trust. और बाकी के कुछ व्यक्तियों के वजह से एक वेंडेटा जो निकाला गया है मुझे हमारे पूरा भरोसा है केंद्र सरकार पे और जुडिशरी पे कि मुझे न्याय जरूर मिलेगा और खासकर सीबीआई से भी Mustafa Sheikh is joining us live from Mumbai with more details on this. Mustafa, good evening. You were tracking what played out in the Bombay High Court. Interim relief for Samir Vankere right now. And in his petition, he's gone on to great detail to claim that all of this is nothing but a witch hunt. But how has he used these WhatsApp chats, allegedly between him and Shah Rukh Khan, to defend himself in court? Well, yes, uh, you know, it was a detailed petition which was filed by Samir Vankade and he sought for many things and one of this was quashing of FIR. So what he is alleging, uh, sorry, what his point of view is that there is no case made out against him because if the CBI is talking about a 25 crore rupees extension in the Aryan Khan drug case, then he showed to the court through his petition the chats which he had with Shah Rukh Khan in October 2021 when Aryan Khan was arrested and in those chats, through those chats, he was trying to prove a point that there was no talk of you know taking or exchanging some kind of money being offered or being taken but on the contrary uh, Shah Rukh Khan was happy the way investigation was progressing and it was being politicized which Shah Rukh Khan didn't like at that point so that is some chat which he has used now in 2023 to say that there was no uh, there is no extortion which, which was being demanded and there is no complaint uh, remember Akshita which uh, there are few fair points which played out in the 
court in favor of Samir Wankhede. One was the delay in taking action. If we are talking about an FIA which happened in 2021, uh, the special investigation team was found in 2021. But then too, uh, there were the CBI FIR was May in May 2023. So that is something which is in his favor. In uh, if you go ahead, the the complainant in this case is a CBI officer and mm -hmm. not anybody who is uh, alleging that money was demanded from me. So there is no real complainant or, or somebody who has been affected in this case. Uh, the uh, third point which also uh, was highlighted by okay. advocate Rizwan Merchant was that these officers, the senior officers who have said that uh, Samir Wankate has done something wrong, were the same officers who were saying that Adan Khan should be kept behind jail. Back so to these you. are the points essentially that Wankhede's legal team has argued. Thanks very much Mustafa for getting us all of those details. But let's put the focus on Samir Wankhede. What are the allegations against him? Well, the NCB's vigilance report, which we've accessed here on India Today, goes into great detail of the clear lapses in the investigation in the Aryan Khan drug case, highlighting how Aryan was targeted particularly by the NCB, particularly by Samir Wankhede, with the sole intention of extorting money from his family. And then there's also the angle of his corruption empire that's come to the fore, under-declared income, foreign trips that haven't been accounted for, a gold Rolex watch that he bought himself as well. We get you all those details in our next report. A drug bust involving the son of a superstar. An alleged extortion bid of 25 crore rupees. The inquiry against then Mumbai Zonal Director of the Narcotics Control Bureau has revealed shocking details. India Today has accessed findings of a report conducted by the NCB's special enquiry team that shows several irregularities in the Aryan Khan drug case. The report says the custody of Aryan Khan was compromised. He was taken to the NCB office in a private vehicle. Aryan's name was added in the information note at the last minute. The report also claims the CCTV footage from the NCB office was manipulated. The probe says some accused were allowed to walk free despite evidence of their involvement in drug consumption. One accused, Soumya Singh, was given a clean chit despite alleged recovery of a rolling paper from her bag. The report highlighted that there was no document of any seizure of phones. The probe suggests that NCB officers allegedly took away valuables belonging to the accused without proper documentation. The NCB inquiry exposes serious misconduct and violations of civil services rules by Samir Wankhede. A British citizen, Karan Sajnani, who was raided by the NCB in January 2021, claimed that his Rolex Daytona watch worth 30 lakh rupees was stolen. I was not wearing the watch at that time, but it was um, in one of my cabinets. Uh, and then, yeah, the next time I saw it wasn't there. Uh, I can't rightfully say that it was taken by... Um, a particular officer but yes I, I I definitely have my doubts that yes it was taken by that particular individual who is um, caught and named in that corruption corruption case with the CBI so in the Cordelia Cruz case in which Aryan Khan yeah, because he was my I officer as well meanwhile Samir Wankhede has filed a plea in the Bombay High Court against the FIR filed by the CBI he has sought protection against any coercive action. Vankhede is already facing allegations of trying to extort 25 crore rupees from Shah Rukh Khan. The fresh revelations will tighten the news around him. With Divyesh Singh and Sahil Joshi in Mumbai, Bureau Report, India Today.
Since the arrest of Aryan Khan in October 2021, this particular case has metamorphosized into something much, much bigger of corruption, of extortion, of the biggest superstar in the country being targeted for his wealth by the Narcotics Control Bureau. If you're confused with all the twists and turns in this particular case, let's round it up for you in our next detailed report where we deep dive into this entire controversy, how it began and where it's reached now. The news titans around Samir Vankade, the man accused of demanding a bribe of 25 crore rupees from Shah Rukh Khan's family by threatening to implicate the Bollywood actor's son Aryan Khan in the Cordelia Cruz drug case. The CBI has filed an FIR against Vankade, but will he be arrested? 19 months ago, on October 2, 2021, Shah Rukh Khan's son Aryan Khan was arrested in the Cruz drugs case. The NCB's Mumbai Zonal Director, Samir Wankade, made the arrest. Wankade is popular as NCB's own Singham. 28 days later, on 30th October 2021, Mannat's prayers are answered. Aryan Khan gets bail and returns home from jail. <laughs> the film, considered over some 19 months ago after the arrest and release of Pathan's son, Aryan Khan, didn't actually end. Aryan's release was just the interval. The remaining part begins after 19 months, from May 12, 2023. The CBI registers an FIR against Samir Vankade in Delhi on May 12. The CBI alleges that Samir Vankade demanded 25 crore rupees from Shah Rukh Khan's family for the release of Aryan. Two more of Vankade's officers and two witnesses are also named in the FIR. Apart from his interview to Aj Tak, Prabhakar also gave a five-page affidavit in connection with his claim. According to Prabhakar's affidavit, he reached the Green Gate International Cruise Terminal at 12 noon on October 2nd at the behest of KP Ghosavi, the man who took a selfie with Aryan Khan and supposedly an NCB officer who later turned out to be an extortionist. The affidavit states that he overheard Gosavi talking on the phone to someone named Sam. According to Prabhakar, Gosavi was telling Sam that you have exploded a bomb worth 25 crores and that it should be finalized in 18 crores. Eight crores to be given to Samir Vankade. Actually, Prabhakar Sale was the witness in the cruise truck case whose name appeared in the Panchanama with his signature. Prabhakar was the witness who saw Aryan Khan going on an international cruise on October 2nd. Saw the NCB taking Aryan into custody. Saw him sitting in the NCB office. Not only this, he was the witness who secretly made a video from his mobile while sitting in the NCB office. Here's that video. <laughs> the unraveling of Vankade actually began when Nawab Malik entered the film. A minister from Maharashtra, when talk of the alleged what started with the extortion attempt, now had religion, caste, certificate, nikah and marriage involved. Singha was surrounded. A departmental inquiry initiated against him. The inquiry handed over to none other than the same Gyaneshwar Singh, who was Samir Vankade's boss in the entire Aryan case. The investigation begins. Samir Vankade is transferred and kept away from Mumbai and Mannat. Ganeshwar Singh handles the Aryan case now. The stain on Aryan Khan gets washed away as soon as the new team arrives. He's cleared in the drugs case. Aryan Khan, Samir Vankade, the NCB, the bargain, the investigation fade away from public memory. But in the midst of this silence, work another script starts quietly in Mumbai itself. This script was based on the evidence of the alleged bargain. On the intervening night of October 2 and 3, 
the alleged phone conversation between the NCB team and Shah Rukh Khan's manager to remove Aryan's name from the drugs case is recorded. In this, the person doing the deal on behalf of NCB is also heard saying at one place that out of the 25 crores to be taken, 8 crores has to go to Samir Vankhade. This proof of conversation was with the staff of Shah Rukh Khan. But the family was then legally waiting for Aryan's release. Once Aryan was out in bail, it was decided at the time that the matter would be escalated. After the bail, Vankade was transferred from the NCB's Mumbai zone. But the file related to attempted extortion in Aryan case was still alive. Shah Rukh Khan himself was not ready to speak in this matter. According to sources close to him, the superstar was firm that he would never say anything about Aryan's arrest or about any NCB officer. According to sources, an actor who had a close relationship with a powerful person in New Delhi somehow convinced Shah Rukh Khan to convey his point to that person in this matter. After this, Shah Rukh Khan reached the national capital with that actor. Here, both of them met that person. And then on May 12, the CBI once again suddenly wakes the audience up. The 19-month-old film is re-released. With the FIR, one would assume the movie's climax has arrived. Samir Vankade will be arrested and will be sent to jail. But no. I just that Happy's ending. And if it's not good, it's not the end. Picture, now it's the end, my friend. Picture, now it's the end. Bollywood movies are rarely without spice. As soon as the CBI showed the pre-interval hero as a villain in the second half, Samir Vankare switched on his mobile at the same time and went directly to this Delhi High Court. Showed WhatsApp chats perfectly of the top NCB brass to the court and said if he's guilty, then all his bosses too are villains. According to him, every order from Aryan's arrest till his release was being given to him by his bosses. There were four of them. Mutha Ashok Jain, whom Samir Vankare was reporting directly at that time, but was on leave. Gyaneshwar Singh, who had taken temporary charge in place of Mutha Ashok Jain. Sanjay Singh, who was then All India Operational Head of the NCB. And SN Pradhan, the NCB's Director General. In an exhibit recorded in the Delhi High Court, Samir Vankade produced a WhatsApp chat to claim that he was about to ask for sending Aryan Khan to judicial custody after having the superstar's son in the NCB custody for a day. If that had happened, Aryan would have probably come out on bail the same or the next day. When Aryan was produced in court on October 4, the NCB's stand was that it would not seek his custody. The NCB team and their lawyer present in the court changed their strategy after the message and sought custody of the accused, including Aryan, for questioning. Later, the court again sent Aryan to NCB custody. The evening when Aryan was arrested, even the top boss of the NCB did not know which star's son had been taken into custody. A few hours after the arrest, on the night of October 3rd, Gyaneshwar Singh asked Samir Vankade on WhatsApp about the identity of the star's son caught during the drugs party on the cruise. After that, he sought all the information on email and also asked Vankade to send a copy of it on WhatsApp. Not only this, Samir Vankade was asked to send all the visuals along with the information. And footage was sent. Gyaneshwar Singh asked Samir Vankade if that could be shared with the media. Vankade replied with a request not to circulate it immediately, but in the evening. In a chat, Samir Vankade also mentions Nawab Malik to his boss, Gyaneshwar Singh, and says that Malik is going to hold a press conference the next day to expose the alleged wrongdoings of the NCB. He reminds Singh that Nawab Malik's son-in-law, Samir Khan, was arrested by him. That's why he's holding a press conference. To this, Gyaneshwar Singh replies that there is no need to panic. Everything will be taken care of. 
after the arrest of Aryan Khan, all the top bosses of the NCB from Mumbai to Delhi were getting the smallest information related to the case. NCB officials had their eyes fixed on news channels as well as on social media. Samir Vankade at one place tells his boss Gyanesh was saying that a proper campaign is being run by SRK's fans and by the NCB. Almost 115,000 tweets have been issued. Samir Vankade further WhatsApps that Shah Rukh's paid media is trying its best and that we still are trending at number two in the whole country. The CBI gave an oral assurance to the Delhi High Court that no coercive action will be taken against Vankade till May 22nd. We'll continue getting you exclusive news breaks on this big, big story. And as I mentioned earlier, this is a live crime thriller playing out on your TV screens. That's all we have time for on the special broadcast on India Today. Thank you for tuning in. We broke CM Sita 48 hours before all. We broke Deputy CM TK 12 hours before all. Exit poll was the exact poll. We broke Karnataka formula 72 hours before all. We have that answer for you now on India Today. Sidra Maya will be the next Chief Minister of Karnataka. India's number one political team is unrivaled. Every news break. First on your channel. You are now smiling and accepting Deputy Chief Ministership. We have promised them that we will give a good government with a good governance. Keeping you ahead is our promise. The war has ended. India today stands tall. Shivaramaya ascend Bengaluru throne. Yuddha over, now time for Sarkara. Siddhu stakes claim to form Karnataka government. Stage set for Saturday's swearing in. Top focus at 6.30 p.m. Very good evening. You're watching India Today. I'm Nabila Jamal bringing up all the preparation right here from the Kantirwa Stadium in Bengaluru, right in the heart of the city where our Chief Minister Siddharamaya will be swearing in and also his deputy DK Shivkumar. This is the grand setup. Usually here, sporting activities that are arranged uh, on a large scale. You can imagine the kind of crowds that will gather for a political event as big as the swearing in ceremony of uh, Siddharamaya, the Chief Minister, and DK Shivkumar, his deputy. This hasn't be been an easy affair for the Congress to come up 
uh, with uh, with the chief minister's announcement both of them dk shivkumar and sidramaiah have been um, at a deadlock for quite a while at least 4 days after counting that uh, uh, both both leaders were unwilling to budge until the high command finally hammered out a solution and now the chief minister has been announced and this grand oath taking ceremony here is only to signify that the congress is a united house and more importantly they are trying to call it uh, they uh, they have invited a lot of the national leaders opposition leaders from national parties across the country to make this almost as if this is a show of strength in fact they are trying to project themselves as the front runners of 2024 in the form of a opposition unity this is the swearing in ceremony venue where i'm at this is at 12:30 tomorrow saturday noon when the swearing in will be rolled out close to a lakh odd people will be uh, placed right here uh, strict security arrangements right now combing out the entire area and ensuring this place is sanitized i'm going to cut across to all that that's transpired in the last few days as the stalemate finally ends we see that uh, sidramaiah has been named as the chief minister dk his deputy they are going to be taking oath in just about a day's time but now it appears the tussle the real tussle for cabinet formation begins a lot of names have now appeared as front runners who are going to be part of the dk the dk camp the siddu camp who are really going to be part of the cabinet all that and more in this special report let's have a look over chief minister's chair ends fight over ministries begin with just a day to go for the oath ceremony sidaramaiya and dk shivakumar reached delhi on friday to finalize the cabinet in consultation with the high command before flying down to delhi sidaramaiya met dalit and muslim leaders of the congress The party's Dalit face, G. Parmeshwara, is upset at not getting the deputy CM seat. Parmeshwara seems to have fallen in line now. They know what to do, when to do, all these things. They, you know, they know it very well. So this is the time. This is the time that we all have to work together. The party is supreme, as I said. So we need to look uh, forward. 2024 is Lok Sabha. We need definitely have to, uh, you know, consider those things also. Preparations are on at the Kanti Rao Stadium in Bengaluru for a grand swearing-in ceremony on Saturday. Governor Thawarchand Gehlot will administer the oath to Chief Minister Designate Siddaramaiya and Deputy Chief Minister Designate D K Shivakumar at noon. A few ministers are also likely to be sworn in. Bureau Report, India Today. All right, I'm taking a good stroll at this entire setup here. As we see, arrangements have been made not just for Sidramaiya and D K Shivkumar, but also some of the cabinet ministers who are really going to be part of the cabinet, Sidhu's cabinet. It's very important to note that all camps here, both camps, rather Sidhu's and D K's, have to be pleased. A lot of the leaders who are representing certain communities will have to be be given adequate representation within the cabinet. I'm going to cut across D K Shivkumar as he spoke in Delhi. All the deliberations have shift, shifted. to the national capital where the high command is going to be uh, along with the local leadership now deciding and drawing out the cabinet for Karnataka they everyone wants the leader from their community their uh, region But there is we... nothing there is no region we don't have caste we don't have region okay. only one caste one region is congress i have to look at see we, we are uh, we are expecting a lot of uh, national leaders coming here i should see that there should be no embarrassment to any of our national leaders apart from the local leaders uh, because it is entire uh, we have been a uh, aspiring to be a change in this uh, uh, political scene in this country so we have invited uh, many of them so i see that we have to maintain the protocol dignity and all of them All right, I'm going to quickly cut across to Anuga Keshav, who's also tracking uh, all that movement happening in Karnataka, Bengaluru as well. Anuga, the cabinet formation is going to be quite a task for the Congress now to actually define all communities. Netas will have to be accommodated. There are a bunch of newcomers, a bunch of people who were integ who were integral in bringing.